approach it more informally. This will not be academic, and this will not be a talk. Uh, this would rather be a sharing of insights. Na sana maging mas uh, mapagaglalim ninyo in your own ways of life, in your own circles, whatever you may find yourself. Um, Mayaman na eh, kuhanin nyo na lang yung, ano, yung source ni Ephraim sa kanyang pinasama mo yung video. Yan na yan, talk. Tapos na, nando na eh. No? Para ba, kopyahin nyo, basa-basahin nyo over time. No? Ang lalalim ng mga words, kahit ako dumuli ko yung words sa lamot. Naku, yun naman yung mga heavenly jokes sa lamot tayo niyan. So, hindi ko na maintindihan. Let's begin with the idea of liturgy. Tapos yun yung slide of into why we have liturgy and why rituals are important for the church and for ourselves as Christians. I have to admit, there are three PowerPoints in front of me. Do you want to the launch ko? Kasi yung una, na modify after two conversations I had with Dirty Shams over the course of the last two weeks. And it's a big no? So para in a sense, God, I felt God was guiding me. But now I end up with three approaches. Na pinapakiramdaman ko kung ano. And as <laughs> late as minutes ago, I felt maybe we should just begin first with an insight that I was uh, I, I was struck with lately when the same Lord, the dead Lord Jesus was asking me, bakit ang daming ritualis ng simula? He was there at the social media center. One, pagpagabi na yun, kasi na siya tumatambay ngayon sa lang na sa enclosure. No? He, he helps me in making videos and and then one time, he told me, nag-victory yung parents niya. Mm. At pinipilit siya mag-victory. Ngayon, ayaw niya. Sa kanong sister niya. So ngayon, yung parents sila, victory. Sila nila ang anak. They chose to remain Catholic. So sabi niya, pero he started asking me questions that I think maybe he was be, he was hearing from his parents or friends of his parents. Bakit pa namin bridge was? That started a conversation about it. Kasi sabi ko, the way liturgy was begun, began was not about us, or at least the person. The word liturgy is a public service. I'm uh, not mistaken. Hindi yung call ko ba? Diba? Litos er, uh, ergos. It's Greek. Parang public service. It's, it's a public work. Mm -hmm. Litur liturgy is also something of a duty. So it was something rich people did you know, in the service of, of, of others. It, it, it is not was enjoyable, but it's a, it was duty. It, it, it was work. You would think liturgy should be fun and moving, spiritually lifting. No reason to get expectation. I'm going to the liturgy, I expect to be touched by the Lord. But the root of the word is it's a work of the people. It's a work of the people to honor the emperor. It's also a work uh, for the people. So it's it's public, made public dimension. Thus made duty or work dimension. And so I was telling Gio na, so, kasi I played for him the trident in light. Kasi ito ang tuwa kasi ako ng part na, if you go to YouTube, there is an Easter showed an Easter Mass in New York, I think. And then, nakakatawa kasi yung na-tried and tried. Sabay-sabay sila yung magalaw parang si Amy. So yung pari, lagi nakaharap. Yung dalawa niyang tikot, saka si Tikot, nakaharap. At tumatalikot lang yung isang isang may hawak na insenso. Pero pag, pero pag nilakad sila together, parang, uh, for example, this is the altar. So, yung mahal mo, may tatutaw. Tatatatatatatat. So, mag-insenso sa pari. Tapos, magkaharap sila dito, Sila tatlo, gaganyan. So yung sakasad lang, napang apat, ang tatalikod, gaganyan. Sa harap din siya ganun. Pero yung dalawang sabikod, maglalakad pa atras yun. <laughs> Tapos magiging seto sila dito. Paharap sila ganyan. So yung seto naman, paharap. So it was clockwork. It was borderline theater. I was telling him, look at that. And then the picture, oh, oh, Remus, oh, 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 I want you to pay attention to the dynamics of the energy. Because that part, it's not supposed to be about you. That celebration is supposed to be about God. 
Now you are doing work for God. You're there, including the people, offering prayers because God deserves it. Not because it's going to make you feel good. It's probably going to bore the hell out of your mind. <laughs> so imagine if you're there. You're probably going to get bored out of your mind. What? Don't want to say human level. You're probably going to be wondering, when will this end? It looks like that. It is so cold. And there will be many things. But at the bottom of the time, is that the last, the last vestige of faith should be that I am willing to spend and sacrifice this time. And that's the purpose of the liturgy. Now, when you have done that, then you start building up from there. But what is happening? And what is God doing for me instead? In turn. Pero dahan ka yung pinaka base, pinaka basic, pinaka para bang um, bedrock natin, cut off point ikala to understand the liturgy. This is his work. So all liturgical acts. Is actually man offering God worship. But there are three general the sacraments, the divine office, and uh, the Eucharist. These are the great liturgical acts of the church. So, mga religious, may hindi mga biyan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You haven't been born too much yet. Bless your heart. <laughs> I have only begun to born them. <laughs> When, when, the, when the religious pray, you wake up at 5.30, you open your notes, you ch- excited ka pag linggo kasi you're gonna chant. Oh, kasi on play chant na, walang chant yun pag weekdays. Chant, yung mga first three months, masaya pa. No? Mag-form ako, ikapat na buwan na kay Aram na buwan na. Scriptures. It comes to a point you don't even bother looking at your anda. Prayer book na, you just go there. Oh God, you are my God for you. I love for you, my soul. Is just my God. Pines for you, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just becomes wrong. Di ba? Para, and then, then, then it kicks in. Huwag ka pa nandyan. Huwag pa nandyan. Why bother? I mean, if it's nothing. But I mean, wala na yung yung alam ng puso. Baka hindi ka dapat magsimula na yung stuff. You know, and then the temptations are not in. And only because uh, you know, you come into it wanting to keep the religious firm. Kapag ganun na nangyayari sa liturgist ng seminary, may alam mo mong nagkikrisis yung liturgist. Kasi, <laughs> ang mangyayari dyan, patuloy mo, patuloy yung mga ano, yung, yung alta, yung lingko-lingko, nagpapalit yung disenyo. <laughs> Sabihin nung, no, naghahanap lagi siyang bago. <laughs> Ngayon, when, when I know that I'm older, I'm in the seminary, pag ganun na papansin ko, lingko-lingko, may bago sa kanta, may bago sa kanta, may bago. Kung ano nung in-introduce, I mean, nagsisimula nung malamig ang puso niya. <laughs> Kasi, naghahanap na siya. He's trying to be radically creative. Parang nga, kasi in a sense, because he's now struggling to keep that sense of newness, that sense of, of fire, that sense of falling in love. Yeah. When, looking back, it was a time for me to level up the relationship. Don't go there again, right? Because to level up the relationship. Na hindi ka na, na in love, parang na, let's, let's look at it as love. You fell in love. After all, what is that like more again? No? Same old face over and over again. Kaya, kaya, after a while, kapag kasi pag-dikran, may pag-dikran. Ikaw na naman, do you see? Hear the same troubles at work. Parang, wala ka naman yung nangyayari sa buhay mo, kung hindi nahinga. Di ba? Di ba parang, but then again, it's the time when the relationship needs to happen up. To actually not be there for how the person makes you feel just because of the gift of the person. That's that speaks to the human person. So the bottom line of liturgy, no matter how beautiful or scintillating it is, we always begin. 
I will, will always do not really do more. I will always fall down to that place again. This is a work for God. It comes in the form of rites. It comes in the form of rituals. That chances are had come from ordinary events that had become ritualized. So, okay, I'm going to shock. But, why do you need to pray to purify my sins? Okay, the other one. But actually, because I'm going to make a comment, I'm going to make a comment. So, I'm going to make a comment. Because, I'm going to make a comment. 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 Why is it not a mission? The mission is, I forgot. Why is it not a mission? Why is it not a mission? It's a mission. It's a mission. It's a mission. The one you put on the neck, you know. Before, yes. there are so many things to put on before you, you put on your liturgical present. We were doing research in theology school. Oh, bakit may ganun? Para hindi madumihan yung kwelyo kasi ang kakapalong namin nila, ang hirap na bahali yung pinto. Eh, syempre, dahil mo kasi ilalim ng tumba kasi nagtatago kayo. So, ang init-init doon, pagpawisan, hindi mo sila karang parang naliligo, so malibang. So, para hindi lagi malilalaman mo, pabalutan mo na ngayon ng And the way we do it sa mga bata, may intuwalya sa likod, di ba? Para hindi agad mag-iitim yung kwelyo ng polong puti, di ba? Para ang laluban mo, yun na lang. Hindi yung buong robe, best man. But now it's like, put on a body in the armor of a Lord Chastity. May kasama na siya na saan ngayon. O bakit may nakalagay lang kayo na dito, tapos may lang, meron pang, the money po, tama kami siya, tapos ito yung bilay ng money po pa. Eh kasi kailangan mo ng exam ready na pag may natatapol, may pamunas ka, like a waiter. So, these have become ritualized. Is it bad to ritualize things? No. Pero, as we, uh, uh, I need you to understand na at the beginning, these acts were eventually spiritualized human experiences. Ibig uh, sabihin ko doon, may mga pangkaraniwang ginagawa either sa liturya, actually sa ibang bagay, kahit sa sacrament, I'm just like, you know, sacrament, and even to our human life, may mga pangkaraniwang kaganapan sa buhay kung saan natatagpuan ng mga tao si Kristo at ang kahulugan ni Kristo, and they seek to preserve it. And so, it becomes ritualized, and over time, ritualized. Does this remove the truth of the Right, our liturgy, no. It only proves to us that God, Jesus Christ, is indeed at work. Because it would never have been ritualized if He was not at work there. Parang ganun yun eh. I mean, you will never ritualize the act of going on Facebook. But the moment of birth, the coming of age, when you recognize the child is no longer a child, coming together to worship, the act of yung mga moments during worship, forgiveness, accompanying somebody who is sick or dying, the recognition of love, the consecration of giving oneself to God, the feeling that deep in my heart, God wants me to be these are ordinary human feelings. These are ordinary human events. And yet, these are special moments sa buhay ng tao. Tila baga, laging present ang Panginoon. So, it had always been there. But more so with the ascent, uh, the, the nascent of the Christian Church, sa pagkapanganap ng si Bang Kasyato, naging sakramento siya. Kasi kinilala nila, yan yung mga moments sa either kinilala ni Kristo ng buhay siya, hindi naman siya na, in the same way to others, hindi naman niya itinatag yung kasal, pumatay lang naman siya. Bakit di sa katikisis ang kasal? Why did Christ fire pa no? What about founded by Christ? Kasi umatid ng kasal. Kasi kinilala niya yung kasal, ando na yung kasal. Ando na naman yung binyag, di ba? Ano lang pa naman yung parang medyo mukhang itinatag ni Kristo. Eucharistia. Ano pa? Kumpil. Nagpadala kasi ng Espiritu Santo. Pagpapagaling sa may sakit. Ano pa? Pagkapari kasi may tinawag siya. But mag others? Yung, yung, pag, yung, 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 yung kumpisan. But baptism? 
Dievas patais, tu esi mērējuši. Nevis uradi mērējuši. When, when he came to earth. Because even the Jews, at the same point, even the Jews had discerned that God is at work in the world. So, magsimula na ito na there will be rituals and rites the chances are can be very moving at times. But we should also think that may hindi masama when when the feeling comes that we have to we have to do it we ought to do it you don't do it because you feel like it there will come a time and it's very natural you feel you just have to do it and you win mas kailangan may pamangkin ka magpapahalit sa school hindi laki mo sumihatin sa school niya gagawin mo kasi kailangan duty the same way God demands something of us. <laughs> let, let, let's set that out. Let's set that aside. I will not go into each and every liturgy. Um, mas mahalagang uh, ating uh, ukayin yung mga liturgy, liturgy na tayo dyan. Over time, you know, pagkating sa mga ibang aspeto niyo, I want to focus on the idea of I want to share with you the idea of the sacraments naman and liturgy as encounters. As encounters with Christ. Hindi ko tayo pahalit sa inyo. Kote ko ko na lang. Yung mga medyo makakakita na lang. As encounters with Christ. Now, here I would interchange between sacraments and liturgy. Pero, the topic is sacraments. Okay. What's the difference? Kasi kalimita, right? Sacraments have liturgies in them. Diba? So, ang liturgy, yun yung work. Yun yung, naman, liturgy. The name of the Father of the Son. Yun yung mga nakasulad sa papel. Ano yung, ano yung work? Ano yung trabaho? Ano yung sinasabi ko sa, sa iyo? Ano ba yun? No, no, no. Yung, yung rin kanina. It is not supposed to be about the demand, the minimum demands for liceity. May ganun. Ano yung sabihin ng liceity? Kasi mga words yung nakayang tapos sa theology mo nun. What is liceity? Liceity is the, uh, the state of being licit. Ano yung licit? L-I-C-I-T. Legal. Via legal. Via negativa. Yun yung opposite ng illicit. So ano pinagkaiba nun? Pwede kasi ang bagay ay legal. Licit. Liceity. Pwede yung illicit. Illegal. Bawal. Pero, iba yun mag-basicatism tayo, sa validity. Pwede kasing valid, pero illegal. Pwede kasing in, in this technical, technically illicit, pero invalid. Ang valid, naganap pa yung spiritual reality. Kasi let us not, ano yun, parang may term doon, be, be overly concerned about the minimum necessary of society, but let us instead make sure that people are uh, engaged in uh, uh, fully, actively, they are informed, and then they reap the fruits, the realities of the fruits. Natatanggap daw natin yung mga totoong nagaganap. You know, dapat ang pakay, sabi na sa kanina, huwag tayo masyadong makukilkil sa detalye. Dapat bang anin ang kanina? Eh, aapat lang naman. <laughs> dapat ba siyang nakatungtong sa trono? Ganyan. Dapat pa ako nag-surplus pa? Ganyan. Maraming mga tano. Tama ba yung inawit natin kanina na hindi tayo kumatala ng tatong ergo? <laughs> hindi na mahalaga yun. Sabi nung pagbasa niya. Ang mahalaga, nung naandito ba kayo, nakapagdasal ba kayo, naunuhaan niyo bang si Jesus yun? At pagkatapos ng kahit meron kayong kakaunting parang para manahimik, kayo ba yung naramdaman nyo ba? Or at least binigay nyo ba yung sa sarili nyo? Um, that you had made a short time with Jesus alone. Yun yung sinasabi niya. Now, why first you say, I have to go there? Kasi ito yung katika. Kalimutan nyo na yung muntok ko, maging malinaw lang sa inyo to. Para hindi nyo aaway yung mga pari ninyo. At <laughs> hindi, hindi rin nyo. Kasi kaysa sa parokya kayo. Kasi ganito yun. Okay, let us uh, pick a sacrament. Uh, a confession. Oh, confession. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
umpisa na agad, pero naisip ko agad, may litan niya na agad ang kagod requirements. So, na, isa, hinahina. Okay, binyag. Uh, ano ang requirements para maging valid ang binyag? Ibig sabihin din, naganap ang binyag. <coughs> Too big. Too big, very good. Very form. Good. Ano yung form? Oh, mm-hmm. Mayroon ng matter and form. Yeah. Well, hindi ka. <laughs> okay. What, okay. Ang, ang, ang matter ay Ang matter ay Water kailangan ng steel <laughs> Kasi baka kailangan ng mineral water oh. Basta tubig Pwede mong orange juice Pag yung tubig na haluan Hindi na dapat tubig na So pwede yung pagradiator fluid Pero bawal ang Ice tea ng sito okay. <laughs> Pwede yung tubig doon sa makina Sa sakyan Pero bawal yung sito. Sa so, yung matter. Ano yung form? In the name of the... I baptize you. Oh, kailangan yung word. I baptize you. Baptize you. So, ibig sabihin nun, I baptize you in the name of the Father. So, yun yun. Pag nagawa mo yung dalawang yun, valid. Valid yun. Basta ginawa mo yung dalawa. Ngayon, ano yung reason? Para maging legal yung pag-isipin yan, normally ano? Witness. May minister na. Una, yung minister. Sino dapat ang pipinyan? Pare. Dapat pare. Ordained priest or deacon. Tapos meron kang witnesses. Intention. At may intention. At may permiso ka galing sa? Magulang. O siya magulang. Magulang. Under normal circumstances. Or? Local official. Kung hindi ka parish priest, with a local parish priest, dapat alam na parish priest ka. Yun yung reason. Ngayon, pag ako, okay, pag, okay, under extraordinary circumstances, sino ang pwedeng magpinyan? Kahit sa inyo. Kahit sa inyo. For example, may pare, inimbitahan nung kanyang benefactor sa seminary yung magmisa sa bahay. Maraming issue sa parang hirap kasi din. Magmisa sa bahay ng kanyang benefactor ay habang nandun siya, nalaman ng benefactor, hindi pa pala nabibinyagan yung anak ng kanyang amiga. So, pinabinyagan niya kay father. Hindi ba si father? Binibinyagan kasi hindi sana siya nakapagtapos magpano kung isa ka ba ito ng kanyang donyang mamasan. So, binibinyagan niya. Valid? With the right matter and form. Valid. Illicit? Hindi. Hindi siya. Illicit. Kasi wala ka pang pahalap. Basta mo ginawa. Hindi mo alam kung ikaw may na-requirements. Hindi mo malag-chinay ko yun na pinapahindulutan ba yun ng obispo. Baka yung obispo doon, bawal magbinyag sa bahay. So, it is possible for something to have happened illegally. Pero kapag nalaman yun ng parish priest, dinala, bibinyag ng bawal iba. Kasi naman yan na doon siya. Ay, illegal. Because the baptism was already made. Kasi valid yun. Hindi mo na kailangan pinyag. Wali mo. Ngayon, kapag ginawa mo niya ay ano, hindi tubig, sabi niya, I don't like water to touch my baby. Get white wine. Kasi gusto niya ng ano, alak ka mo, ipang pinyag sa kanya. O oh, kahit obispo pa yun, nung diocese pa yun, <laughs> ang nagbinyag, oh, invalid yun. Would he have acted licitly if the bishop came? This is my diocese. I'm the bishop. I'm going to baptize without permission of the parish priest. Is that act licit? Yes. Yes, it's the bishop. It's the, the only thing higher than him is the Pope. Ganun, ganun ka makapakita. <laughs> so, <laughs> ang next court, person of recourse is the Pope na. It will be valid, but it will be, I don't, it will be licit, but it will be invalid. Kasi bakit naging namin niya eh? Uh, asan ba dyan yung ano? Rosé. Rosé ka na. O, oh, yun yung pang lulubuli doon sa ulo sa sabot. So, that would have been. Oh. So, um, we have to separate that. that those are technicalities when we think about liturgy. And, Sacraments. Kasi I would also encounter a lot of people online, among friends, nagkamali yung sumustol ng pare, kala mo na invalidate yung mong misa. <laughs> diba? <laughs> diba? Parang, 
ordinary ka niya. Ba't siya nakapula? Parang kwenta yung pari. Parang ganyan. Hindi mo alam mo kung saan ka ilalagay yung, yung tabernakulo. Piling mo na wala na ng, ng sanctity yung buong simbahan. Kasi napalipat yung tabernakulo. There you have to differentiate liturgical norms and possible liturgical abuses committed by priests or religious from validity of the sacrament in the liturgy. Kasi pwedeng sa gitna ng maraming liturgical abuse, the sacrament at its heart remains valid. That takes a, dis- a, a very sharp spiritual sense. Not to allow ourselves to be too disturbed by liturgical imperfections, but always pay attention that it is the heart of liturgy, which is the encounter with Christ, that should always be preserved. I'm not saying that when you preserve the encounter in Christ, forget about the liturgy. Hindi ako rin yung nagsasabi din na, okay, create your liturgy as, you feel, as long as you feel you can encounter Christ. No! Hmm. Sabi ko lang, kapag pumalpak si liturgy, ang plan B mo, at least ikaw gawin mo, maiwan yung encounter with Christ. If you could, if it is within your power to plan and preserve liturgy, so be it. You are in your power na, pero as long as hindi mo wala yung encounter with Christ. Meron din naman na, baka naman sa sobrang preparasyon ng liturgia, nakalimutan na yung inkwento may Kristo. I remember, I will not tell the diocese, but I always love this diocese because they're very careful with their liturgies. Talagang, pag, uh, I always, I, for the past three years, I've been going there for the Christmas. Kasi, nag-i-invest na kayo yung Diyosis nila na pare-pareho ng stola. At yung disiplina nila sa mga pari nila, hindi yung noir orientation, tapos mag-shoot nila ng kasulya, nag-tagos, parang narito sila, naka-ano, naka-ano. So, ang ganda-ganda, kasi akala mo planado, pag nagmahirang ang MBG ng mga stola, pare-pareho talaga sila. At pag pumasok sa katedral, kala mo nabukok sa lang pintuan ng langit, ito na wakas ng panahon. At dito na, ganun kasi yung vision talaga. Tapos doon sa taas ng choir doon, may doon, may full, may, may ano, orchestra na. May doon peta, may, 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 may cello, may, may violin. Na talagang, nakabukok ko doon, nagpipitsa ko doon. Sabi ko talaga nung unang kong Christ na mas, pwede na ako mamatay ngayon. <laughs> kasi yung, yung liturgia pa lang, entrance procession pa lang, feeling ko, at dito si Lord. Yung mga hindi ako mamamahiyak kung hindi na siya magpapakita. Pagpunaw ng mundo ko, yung darating makakawa ng langit. Parang sabi niya, ay, teka muna, manood muna tayo ng liturgy. <laughs> Ganon. Most impressive. Um, and, I, I remember from that, na awa ko sa tikon, kasi bit-bit niya, yung gospel mo, ay, talagang kita kung makapal yung <laughs> yung, yung, ang mabigat, yung may, may silver, talagang kita po, eh, eh, haba nung katedral. Diyos is. 
Siya pinagpuntahan ko. Talaga naman, yung trompeta, feel na feel niya. Yung trompeta siya. Hindi mo gusto ko manahimik. So, patawad! Ayos! Patahimikin mo naman ako! Yung may mga ganun is, ewan ko may mga musician sa inyo, o may mga nag-work sa inyo sa music and music and music. Ayan! I remember yung community mas ng high school and junior high, no? I just told RJ, di ba nag-antay ako na siya lang? I told him, follow your breathing. Kasi may mga may part kami doon para nalimit. Tapos wag ka kanila. Sabi ko, baghanan mo? Kasi the song is naturally fast. Kasi sabi ko, baghanan mo? Kasi ito yung adoration. So wag ka nang bago nang bago. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Iyos, pagdating mo sa moment na yun, no matter what happens, just follow how you're breathing. Sasabay mo siya sa inyo ng tao. Para hindi yung, hindi yung natin ka parang kumanta for you. <laughs> Kundi yung, the song now becomes easier to sing. Kasi you start to mean to words. Kasi mukha naman, hindi pwede mo gawin yan. Ang metro ng mark na ay 104. Sa kapatok! See, and then we forget, no? We might be pay attention to the particular moments. We forget that encounter. Ah, sorry, I don't know it's segue. Alam niyo ba ang liturgy ka ang ang Gregorian siya? Walang measures. Walang measures siya. So I will limit myself to four to twenty. Walang siya measure. In short, diwan sa atin para mag da 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 da. Hindi mo ba? Yes, in Chinese, something. No, hindi mo si Tisha sa bayon. They just write the flow. Kasi bakit pagkita mo kasi siya? Kung saan gay mo? Hina. Kung saan titigil ka? Kung saan yung 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 piyesa titigil sa tiyan. Para na nung wala ka matayang that's something that if you if you know Latin, how to sing it you, with with the proper pausing. Okay, last na babu tungo rin, babu tungo rin. This introduction tara rin. <laughs> Kung meron sa inyong liturgical studies, music, music, parish, ang lagi ng challenge, makinig kay, I say, say this to all the other music, music people I mean, makinig kay Ray Valera. Ray Valera or Aegis. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Pakinggan niyo yung tabas ng mga pandi. Saktong-sakto yung tabas ng pandi sa galaw ng mga. Diba? <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi siya suman. May measure yung tugtog. Pero yung choice of words, kung saan siya hihina, sumasabay siya. Ang sarap pakinggan. May sen nila. And that's the idea behind the Greek Gregorian chant. And that's the idea of using songs in the liturgy. It's not, kasi tayo, hanap natin, alin ba yung ano, appropriate yung message? Check! Siyempre, alam mo, ano yung sa seminaryo, ang sakit doon daw eh, nalihagi sa amin. Umaga, umaga, morning prayer. Ang tinugtog eh, Malapit na naman, lumubog ang araw. Sa mga tiyo sila. Ano sa isang lumubog? Tapos, yung kaya na, sabi na, sabi na, nagsisikot daw sila, seryoso siya, seryoso siya. So, bisa niya, check mo siyempre yung meaning muna. But at the same time, the rhythm. And modify the pacing of the rhythm. Because the song is meant to facilitate the encounter with Christ. It's not... Kaya ang sagot doon, pag nampans, magagandahan ako sa choir. Kasi nag-provide sila ng background music sa inkwento ko. Pag nagalingan ako sa choir, kasi ang ganda-gandang kumanda at nakinig ako sa kanta nila parang concerto throughout the liturgy, that would have been a bad choir. 
fire. Because it's not supposed to be a concert. They are supposed to provide me ambient background music. Parang, yun yung mga parang magdala ka ng isang hapon. Dapat yung John Lloyd at Sarah G. Kasi nasa City Mowat eh, bago mag-manage. Nasa City Mowat ba yun, bago mag-manage yung ano? It takes a man and a woman. Parang di mo, ah, kinikilig ako. Kaya mo na yung weakness ko yan, Sarah G. So, wala. So, di mo, ang galing na nag-pad na pang may montage. Di ba, doon na naman kasag na yun. Pero pag may mga... Oh, diba? Pero pag may eksena, pag may mga lines, makikita mo lang, tumutugtog lang yung theme. Instrumento lang yung sabi. But then, kahit pag wala yun, ang boring. Because why? Because when you silence out other parts, and you highlight the theme, you are brought into a movie. Tapos na. Ngayon, ito, sinaposan ito si Felix. Oo, kaya ano. Sakit sa ulo ng ano yan. Ang doctor of the faith. Pero ang na-reconcile naman daw siya. No, but I'm only taking a few points. Huh? Don't think I'm just like, I'm, I'm telling them, I'm telling you it's yes. But I'm not giving a thumbs up to the whole theology of Jeff's politics. So he's a Dominican theologian. Medyo kakabang mag-isip. He's the one who, who entered the idea of the encounter. At nung pinagdilayan niya yung Encuentro sa sacramento. He said, we have to understand that in sacraments, it has to be a meeting of persons. It's not about the externalities of what you see. It's about who you meet. It's not what they look, what they're wearing. It's who they are. Ang nakalakit dyan. It is in a sense falling in love. No, that is me. It is like falling in love. Diba parang, if you only fall in love with how he looks, or how she is dressed, dapat ka rin gano'n siya, kasi baka panagbihis, hindi ka na-in love. Pero pag na-in love ka, it's kasi meron siya eh. Yung kahit may magbago sa kanya, kahit magpalit siya ng damit, kahit sabugan pa yung mukha niya ng pillbox or something, yung may mag-i-endure. And that human experience of falling in love, being able to uh, latch on to the other beyond what they look, beyond what they, who they are. Kasakit may ano wala, ikaw pa rin. Ikaw pa rin! <laughs> 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 uh, so we go. Diba? The thing is, I, I love this. Kasi when you start entertaining the idea of that, even your experiences of falling in love, for me, that is that was a key actually for me in my last growth moment in my life. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no! 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 But in my last growth moment in faith, the, the key of the ex human experience of falling down was so enlightening. Now, my struggle with my faith, my struggle with, with my vows, my struggle with, with connecting a relationship with Jesus had to start to be understood hindi na by rules, hindi na by what is required of me, pero yung in love ba ako sa kasama ko? Kasi whether I like it or not, ito ay susunod ko siya. Kasama ko na siya. <laughs> hindi naman dahil natin siya, pero parang magsunod ko, oh, Francisca, no? Oh, Papachino daw ako. Hindi ko parang tampos minister. <laughs> so, parang makatingin din. Then I have to be a constant reminder of Jesus Christ. Eh, sino ba naman yung makikiri-remind sa kanila? That, yung, 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 yung last insight na yun, I had to be held by understanding falling in love. Kaya ako nahihirapan. I started to think na, nung bang may jowa ako, may, ano ko, paano ba ako nagtataksi? Paano ba ako nagsisimulang magtaksi? Kasi baka yun din yung ginagawa ko ngayon. Ano ba yung feeling ng pinagtaksila? Kasi baka yun yung ginagawa ko sa kanya. Paano ako na nang buyo? <laughs> diba? Ako ako nagsasorry. <laughs> Paano ako nagsasorry sa kanya? Baka yun ang dapat kong gawin para sa kanya. And, and when I want to stay in love, or at least yung to keep in touch para we don't go apart, yung kumusta na 
baka naman yung prayers ko din. Ganun lang. Kasi, karoon ko sa point na parang, siyempre, kung basta ka, di ba imagine ko, 16 years ako nabang basta, saulado, 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 hindi naman, pero parang, kung sa ito naman, ito naman, at baka naman yung pato ka rin, hindi naman sa ganun, pero naram naman yun, pero parang, yes, Lord, yung sakula ako, the Lord's revelation to my pastor, I said, diretso ka na, no? But, there will be times na kahit kapag maganda yung nag-strike ako, I will repeat it in my room. I will go to my room. I will sit on the bed and I will slowly go through it. Kasi my brother is in the community. We'll go very fast. Imagine, they're old. So, if I am complaining at 16 years, they've been doing this for 35 years. <laughs> so, if I was born, they, they're probably just blind. <laughs> Most probably, they're very old. Joke lang. I mean, most probably they're very old. But, but for me, that was a struggle with this. So I have to go back to my room. Sit down. And read it again. So, at the end of the day, kahit ng Vespers na ko, ang pakulit ko, yung bangko doon siya ng mangga. Oh, doon. I have to go back to my day. May ginawa ba kong mali? Kapag hindi ko sigurad mong tama, may ginawa ko, Lord, mahalaw ko na. <laughs> Sana wala magalit. Sana hindi pumal pumalpak. And then yung pag-inis ako, magsasabi ko sa'yo, nakainis ka, bad trip ka, tapos minsan ko pasalaman. But I would talk to him as a friend. I would just talk. You know, just know you're listening. Huwag ka mananapay ka, pero natakot ako. Kasi ang bagay kami kumapay, it's okay, we were talking. Don't, 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 don't. I just wanted to feel you in my heart, not on my shoulder. <laughs> but um, it, it, it's enough. And at the end of the day, you know, okay, I have to do And I remember that's, that's, that, that was important. I remember now that's what my, my Protestant friend back in college meant. Have you had a personal relationship with Jesus? I'm a quarter a term personal relationship with Jesus. But now, I, I feel, yeah, I think I should. I, I think I, I'm beginning to have one. Because it's important to have moments of quiet. The encounter was first a discernible mystery in the presence of Christ. This is important. Because ito yung feeling ko kung meron man hindi tayo bibitawan sa ating buhay yung <coughs> moment na naramdaman natin nandyan siya. Hindi na huwag na magbibitawan. Kasi yung minsan yun na lang yung magsasalba kapag wala nang dahilan para kumapag ka na. Kasi naranasan mo one time kinapag yun. Seryo kasi eh, ano ko naman yun after pagpasok ko sa seminar. Nakala ko kung ba'y yung kasama ko yung parang parang sa pocket na mga seryoso. Parang sa isa yun namin naman muna ang buwan. Tatatang buwan, nag-aawal ako yun ako. Tapos yung yung mga uka-ugali nila yun. Hindi ko siya sabi mga ba'y yung kami pero doon ko lang yung magtanto talaga Ibang ugali ng mga Kenyo, ibang ugali ng mga Danao, ibang ugali ng mga Bisayan yung taga-centro ng Bisayas, ibang ugali ng mga Ilocano, ibang ugali ng taga-centro yung sa mga Pampango. At saka ibang mga magkapit-bahay na ka, Pampango at Pangasinese, hindi pa magkasundo. Di ba parang tapos, may mga tao yung may hindi talagang dugo sa'yo, wala ka namang ginagawa. Masakit doon, ang close-close ng pakiramdam ko sa kanya. I mean, there was one seminar and I treated as a blood brother. Parang for some reason, ang ganda, nung una ko pa lang siya nakikita, ang ganda na ng loob ko sa kanya. Pero after a while, opposite pa rin yung effect ko sa kanya. Ang bigat-bigat ang damdami niya. So parang, I felt so broken hearted. Parang di po, bakit? Anong ginawa ko? Parang bang, kung paano ko siya inaalaya ng pagiging kapatid, kung mahal ko ng kapatid, ganun naman niya ako nire-reject. Di po, yung nagpagamunin niya kanyang, kasi parang, nabi ako yung isusuyo, tapos yung parang siya. <laughs> Ay, imagine mo, pag nasa labas kayo, may kayo kuwi, kayo mag-iba. Pag nasa seminaryo kayo, magkasama kayo sa umagal, magkasama kayo sa kainan, magkasama kayo sa klase, magkas walang takasan. <laughs> so pag may hindi, pag feel mo hindi ka tayo na isa, feel mo yun practically 24-7. But 
But yet, there was a moment na sukong-suko na ako. There was, maagaw na po sa mga chapter sa mga And then there was another friar who came. He put his arms around me. And he said, I don't care about it. And for that moment, I remember it was him, but ang dating sa akin was like, Christ was there. Kasi, ano po, parang, parang, parang damo po. <laughs> We have called him the ugly face crowd. Ang buti na lang talaga, walang ibang na ang isa. I know, I don't know how I look, but if I was going to reenact it, I would make the ugliest possible face while I was crying. I was waiting. Remember, I was waiting. But the friar just stayed there. He no judgments in the open of the hand. He just kept his hands on my shoulder. Bagaimana dengan aku bersyukur itu? Tidak apa-apa dengan aku. Matai na. Siapa na tayo? Ganun lo ko nun. Aku sabi. Paano kasi nung umi ako ng linggo eh. Kasi kasi nanay ko doon nagsisipat ako ng linggo. Mag-iimpake na ako. Kasi ako sa kaya sasakot. Matai na! Uwi na! Kaya ko na dyan! May yung na ako doon eh. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Masuklam, masuklam talaga ako doon sa winahan ko eh. Uwi na sana ako. Pero again, he was brought to a point. Tayo ko na rin. Lord, yung luha ko hindi na kaya. Dalang pasan na. Uuwi na rin ako. Ayaw ko. Sayaw sa akin ang Lomis Manser ko. Hindi niya ako favor. Wala ko gawa. Wala ko gawa. Ayaw ko na. Suko na ako. Uwi na ako. Okay. But this time, I was silent. And then inside came into my head. Parang may sumagin lang sa isip. Buti na lang. Isuko na ako. Uy, what? Parang gilang. Yeah. Because I don't want you to stay because you want to stay. I want you to stay because I want you to stay. <laughs> I was. I, I still remember the series of conversations. I mean, the series of insights. Are you sure? So, I'm going to stay. Because I'm going to be happy. Yes. Every time, every time we want to be remembered, to ask me if I still want to stay. Oh, okay. <laughs> literally, I said, "Para mas And I stay. Because I failed. That's what he wanted. But if you saw him, you saw the man. Because it took me one and a half years to be shaken instead of one. So then the prophet. Every time I had a crisis, I would always go back to that moment, and I would always ask the Lord, "To pray, ba? Shakar, Shakar." So that mystery, you have to never forget that. Kasi that's a holy moment. It will be your salvation. Yung moment na feeling mo buhay na buhay sa isa. Yung moment na feeling mo feeling mo siya. Yung feeling, yung moment na feeling mo kasama mo siya. Unawa ko. Kasi after the resurrection, that mystery, I'm sorry, that mystery was what helped the Christian church to yun lang naman yung pinagawa ka ng mga unang disipulo, di ba? May kanya-kanya siya ng moment na, buhay si Lord! Yun lang mo po, uwi sa Emmaus, nakita namin! Kasi, oo nga, nakita din namin, kala nyo kayo lang. <laughs> di ba? Yun lang naman yung, o oh, yung dalawang yung mga babaeng siya po sa, oh, nakita namin si Lord, rise sa living yan. That, that's all they had going. Para yung panahon din ang nakita si Lord. And my favorite is Thomas the Doubter, from, from ever since. Kasi I was raised scientifically. I was raised to be a cynic, a critic, and I always would ask, Totoo ba? And here it was Thomas, until I, very experiential, until my shot came to the living go, the brain divine. But notice the gospel. The Lord shows himself. Thomas, wait! Psst! Tarik ka. Sige, shot mo nga dito sa kamay. Tama, tama. Shot mo. He never did. He never did. Just like, He just said, "Gusto ko makita." I mean, at gusto ko makatunay at in the full sense of the word. But the presence changed. And blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Yung nanumanyo siya sa akin ni Cristo. 
And so the resurrection will always be that moment when you feel most alive. At sa ni Edith Kilibix, yun, so, yun yung nag, nag, nagbigis sa mga tao. Si Kristo, naramdaman ng mga taong buhay, and that becomes the bond of unity. Lahat para sa atin, buhay si Kristo. In each and our ways, I ask you, why is Jesus alive? You have your own story. Is Jesus alive for you? You have your own story. Is Jesus really true? You, know, you all have your own narratives. And that is what endured throughout time. Sabi ni Steve Pinks. Kaya naging buo yung simbahan, kasi ito yung mga tao na tipon-tipon, kasi lahat sa kanila, para sa kanila, buhay si Cristo, nagkaroon sila na karanasan kay Cristo. And therefore, the sacraments and the liturgy must bring us to an existential encounter where the outside, outside, outward sides reveal the person. So when we talk about liturgy, we have our own ways when we can participate. Pero sa ating sarili, let's look for that encounter. Where is Jesus? Lalo na lang kapag liturgy ay medyo poorly celebrated. Saan nagpumilit si Jesus mo parang na? Di ba? Kasi minsan baka gano'n. Sa dinami-dami ng tao pag Sunday Mass. Kasi so, hirap maramdaman si Kristo. Ikaw na gumawa ng parang. Pagpasa ka naman. Hindi ako masa ng selector na tulon. Di ba? Minsan may gano'n eh. Pupunta sa selectoria. Ang gusto eh, magaling ang lektor. Eh, nagkataong hindi magaling ang lektor sa lugar. Then, read the readings. And okay, English is not your one point. Di ba ako magaling sa English? Ano ba pa sa kanilang Tagalog liturgy? I mean, prior, para as the word is being proclaimed there, you already know what is being proclaimed. But the act of, yung pagsasalita, tulad nung binasa, si Kristo yung nagsasalita sa iyo. Pero ngayon, nakuunawaan mo. Di ba? Kasi naghanda ka para doon sa celebration. Pinag-aralan mo, bakit kayo? Ano yung magandang <coughs> doon? Pupuesto ka sa isang mga para katiyakin na sa Biblia. Kasi yung mga signos na yun, yung mga signs na yun, ang magiging uh, template mo para umunahin ang nangyayari. It can even bring um, questions. But it, it's alright. Because the questions will always, chances are being uh, useful. Eh, bakit? Nagbabo. Hmm. Bakit ginagal mo, Father? Tama ba yun? <laughs> diba? Eh kasi para naman hanggang dulo, hindi naman kami kausap ni Father. O kaya mararamdaman mo na isa yung Christy prayer. If you pay attention, <coughs> the Eucharistic prayer is not directed to you. You are not there. You do not exist. Kaya nga yung isang wedgie yun. During the consecration, I jump forward to the consecration. Look at that. He never turns around. Why? Because we do not matter. I mean, we are there to join the priest in praying. We are, tender, we are here, we agree with him. Whatever he says, we like to say that. But it's one priest who says it for me. Say or not? Lord, you just have to And then, pero kasi lang magkakusap. Kasi, mula sa mula na yung Christy prayer, and that's a great amen, magkakusap ng pari na mga mga. So, if you notice, that's just one direction. The second direction is to receive the grace. The communion, the presence of God, the words in the, in the proclamation of the word, pero it is our public word. So the, reality, the, the transcendent and divine reality is the presence of God. The reality is that uh, Jesus is there. Yun lang. And Jesus does not have to console me. <laughs> Jesus does not have to make me happy. He does not have to solve my problems. When I go to the Mass, I know I don't know how to do it. It's not good. 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 Thank you. 
be strong. No, 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 that's the divine reality. The presence of Jesus. And the kind of Jesus who offers himself to you. Yun yun, di ba? Sa Eucharist. Kasama si Kristo, at si Kristo, inalay niya ang katawan at dugo niya para sa'yo. He's not going to give you your 30-month pay. He's not going to give you a raise. <laughs> You're going there. Salamat kasi kahit anong mangyari sa buhay ko, nilipatas mo ako. Salamat kasi kahit anong mangyari sa buhay ko, binayaran mo kasalanan ko. Salamat kasi basta tapat ako sa'yo, mamatay man ako maya-maya, hihintayin mo ko sa langit. Yun lang naman yung nangisa. Hindi kailangan mag- maluha ka sa galing ng kanta ng choir o mamuha ka sa galing ng humilihan ng pare. It's Jesus. I give you time. Because you gave me your time. Oh, tuloy natin. Ay, sacramento daw. Open is supposed to be open is the possibility for falling in love. Hindi ka sila. Sila iniiwan. Now, the community itself is a sacrament. Yan <laughs> yung isang movement. So, if the sacrament is hard yet, uh, katikisem, uh, sacrament is a dedication sign of grace instituted by Christ. Diba? Ibig sabihin, mabisa siya ang daluya ng grasya na si Kristo mismo ang nagtatag. In short, sa isang banda, sacramento yung komunidad Kasi bakit? Tanda kayo, dapat ni Kristo. The community is the church. But for me, at any worshiping community can be said to also become a sacrament. Now, <clears throat> can you pray yourself and mom? We hope that many more will join us. Blah, 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 blah. That is a work of the community. Kasi it will not be an automatic grace of God. I'm, I'm sorry. But we have to ask His grace. Pero that is a grace that will come through the work of the community. Kasi makita sana na itong komunidad na ito ay masaya, nagkakaisa, buhay si Kristo, para yung odor of sanctity, nakakaawa yan. Masarap kang sumawa kasi nag-e-enjoy ka. So a moment when you share joy, you share companionship, share fraternity. All aware that the reason why you're together is because Christ brought you together. That is in itself a sacrament for yourselves and for the friends that meet you. They do not kaya sila masaya, kaya sila kaya kasi nandiyan si Jesus. Very rarely among Catholics do you say that to you? Because Jesus is with them. Mga born na kayo may Is Jesus with you? Oh, I, I love this. We're so happy because Jesus brought us together. <laughs> Ang limit-limit pag born again. Pero makatawalin ko, bihin ang sabihin nyo, no? no? I mean, but that's sad for me na we don't mention His name. We don't mention, remember that He's here. So, masaya kayo may amin ako. Oh, nakikilap dito. Pero may nahanap na. But you're enjoyable. It's because Jesus chose to bring you together. And remember that. Don't forget because the community as a sacrament will touch the heart and transform through the words. No? The community is the one that heals and Christians themselves become sacraments to world individually. So again, sabi ko yung encounter with Christ and liturgy translates into the actions of the individual. Um, ang dating mahiling magdasal-dasal at magdasal ng worship when I was reading old books were, mere, were actually medyo yung protestants o offensemen. Makikilala mo yung mga katoliko kasi masyadong malakas mag social action mo yan. Kaya ang mga unang Christian labor unions patakbo ng mga katoliko. Ang orphanages patakbo ng mga katoliko. Anong gagawa ng mga katoliko? Para parochial schools, private schools, na Catholic schools. Bakit? Kasi sila yung laging we have to change the world. Hindi yung social action ngayon mula rally pero yung we, kung ano kailangan we provide. Because they always balance that. If I'm Jesus with me, and I have to bring light to the world, then I have to feed the hungry, clothe the sick, that the word has to be translated. Hindi yung, okay lang, I believe it. by faith, I am saved. Ngayon, parang nag-reverse tayo ngayon, ang dami ng posyon. Parang, kailan ba tayo huling nagtayo ng orphanages at saka yung mga outreach? Pero ngayon, yung mga mission outreach ngayon, na lumalabas, parang, 
madaling ba may mga sa akin gumagawa ng gano'n? Hindi na ata kami. Pero, or hindi na ba pakilala katoliko? Yung mga katoliko ang gumagawa ng gano'n. Bagay. But see, the church heals. The church forgives. The church ministers. Through the members. So sa isang banda, the community itself is a healing community. I swear, I will not get to watch that. Later. So, therefore, as a kakaid to kaya, this is appropriate for you. Therefore, the community, as a sacramental presence, must be a venue to introduce others to new life. Not merely by, uh, parang yung, sa amin, parang, not merely by guarding. Um, kasi kung, if our life as Capuchins is merely about rules and clothing, Siguro gagaya ko yung panulipan yung pinipas yung pako. Dari ba ako? Ay, marami pa naman bawa ngayon, pero hindi mo siya naman nagta. Kasi ngayon, ang approach to formation is more... Ang tawag nila? Formation. Sorry, ang approach ay sa, sa religious life is more of formation. How do we integrate who we are with the ideals? Yun yung approach. Tanggap ko kung sino. Ito na ako. Pero ngayon, kailangan akong tapresin dito. Purun, ayusin. Para kung hindi ako makalapit ng isang idea ng kapo So it's an ongoing struggle. It's an ongoing cross. May goal ako, pero every step of the way, I am accepted and loved. Kaya, when the community introduces others to do that kind of new life, the opening, the possibility of new life, and the spirit is course through the, works through the community, uh, healing their illness, forgiving their sinfulness, ministering to their religious needs, being faithful, is all done with the support of community. I, mean, I remember when we talk about the support of community, minsan, ang isip nila, kaya ayaw nung ibang pumasok sa seminary or sa religious life. Kasi po hindi ako mabait. I remember one alumnus saying, oh, Consider the religious life in three years. My brother, pass mo na ako. Hindi ako mabayad. Ano naman yung palpa ko? Sabi na sa akin. Alam mo kung mas mabayad ka pa rin kung parang nung time na ako I was your age. <laughs> Sabi na, uy, oh, ito. I will not go into detail. <laughs> Trust me, you are a nicer you are a nicer boy. And my mom would, have, would rather have you as her son than she would have me. <laughs> and, 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 and the idea of Pero ang mahalaga doon, ang bottom line, kung kanina ang bottom line is liturgy is supposed to be work for God. Ang bottom line ng community is basta para-para natin gusto maglakad. Paarangkada. Paayos. Walang Indian race, Indian, Indian graduation na parang pag katapos na taon, pag hindi ka pa ayos, no, kick out ka. Hindi, pero yung walang sukuan sa bawat isang pagdada pa, ang bangon. Pag hindi magbangon, yung makapangin. <laughs> yung idea, no? pag hindi ka makabangon, GAPANG! Huwag <laughs> kang gumulong para magpapad pa, GAPANG! Ganun. Pag, pag, pag matabangon na, tuloy. Akayan to, unawaan ito ng mga tao para para kompleta na. Because it is then that our, our, our heels, our wounds, will be healed. When we are reaffirmed na no matter what happens, there will be people who will accept and love us. That, that, Ultimately, I think that is one of the basic yearnings of the human person. To find himself or herself so loved and so accepted that hurting the one who loves you no longer becomes an option. In that beginning, that should be. But then, isipin yung kay Jesus in, in, in our prayer, in our meditation. Yeah, Jesus is that. Kaya may sacramento, all the food and reconciliation. Yes, Jesus is that. But to find it in one another. Yeah. And that's important. One of the things that made me survive in the order were just three people. Tatlong tao na wala akong tinagong game sa kanila. Pero naramdaman ko na wala akong pag-usa sa kanila. Walang, walang nagbago. Kung ako, kinitap na biyo ako. 
kahit anong sabihin na ibang Friday. O kahit anong mangyari. Maraming sa maraming pagdaan sa komunikasyon namin. Yung alam mo lang na may tatlo, sapat na paano magtagulong. Um, I know who I am. I know. I, I don't need their affirmation. Their, 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 just their uh, approval. Enough sa akin na naunawaan na naman. Actually, kahit isa lang sa kanila eh. Pero yung tatlong lang. Actually, isa lang sa lupa eh. Yung isa, nasa tagay tayo. Tapos yung isa, yun, nasa mission. So, isa lang tagay ako siya ngayon. So, hindi ko na nga lang kausap. Pero alam ko, walang pwedeng sabihin ng kahit sino man sa kanila na magpapabago ng pinigil sa akin. At yun lang sa pagkasa. I, I, I persevere and I struggle. And I think that's important. And therefore, the community, when we feel that Christ is alive in the community, in our lives, they become encounters, but they transform. More powerfully than ascetical prayers. Siyempre, mahalagay ang ascetical Sacrifices, preparation, mahalagay yun. At sa inyo, hindi mahalagay yun. Mas kasama yung sagit siya, hindi ba yun? Do this work for you, Lord! Kasi mga nang mga trabaho ito! Ito na yung last full show ng Pumble Day. Hindi ako manonood kasi hindi ako nakamisa kanina for you! Hindi ko na manonood. Bibili na ako ng pirata may hap may hap. Di ba? Parang gano'n. So, that is important. But it also, that the encounter of being in love with the mothers also is transformed in psychological emotion. They become, they, they trigger in us radical personal responses so that we can live authentic, makatotohanan, prophetic, witnessing lives of faith and service. As I even go here, people, because liturgy is the normal way we encounter Christ. If you are in control of liturgy in one way or the other, ito yung mga moments na parang kung mag-orchestrate ka, this is how you have to orchestrate the faith. <clears throat> if you are in charge of formation or of prayer services, this is one way for you to ensure this is what I have to bring my brothers and sisters to. Papatutubak ng music or hindi. Or if you yourself are struggling with faith, this is how you are supposed to understand the liturgy. This is the church's way of communicating Jesus Christ to you. External expressions of sacraments and liturgy, <clears throat> external expressions, that is liturgy, have changed over time, pero secondary. Kaya kanina tulad yung how I began. At the heart is liturgy. The rites can be changed, sometimes may have to be changed. But because the role of the rite is to facilitate what is truly important. So, I hope that by your communion, um, by bonding, you will sense Christ in one another. I, I, like, I like your final petitions. Tuwa ako doon eh. Parang mag, grabe, parang hindi yata ako kaiwas doon sa mga petition. Parang bang napaka-precise. Parang bang napaka-precise. My heart is touching of things that will bring me to sleep. Pati yung bring me to places. Pati yung relationship with people that will eventually lead me to sleep. Diyos ko! Sabi ko! Pakita pa rin. Sabi ko gusto mo humingi ng kopya nun eh. Sabi ko, pakita na pa rin dinasal ko araw-araw. Ay, wala! Hindi na ko lalabas sa kumpento! But it's, it's, a, it's a good reflection because it is a way for us to know that even if there are moments, and this is my, 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 my little... Ang may diba ito? My little... Meron kasi ako na yun, pag kaya ayaw ko magmaneho, pag pa-uwi, pagkali sa tulos sa kanya ako. Kasi may, may nakatapos ko kasing daanan. Kaya <laughs> 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 pa-uwi! <laughs> Parang, hindi, hindi naman, hindi pa ako buwan. Pero, 
Regardless whether you're SSA or not SSA, it's just temptation. There will always be temptation. Okay. 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 No, Father, I have been letting temptations entertain me. And I, I, I would imagine sometimes, Lord, you can see me right now. <laughs> Even if I indulge myself, you will be with me. I cannot bear to have you there when I'm doing that. So I will go home already. <laughs> it, it's really great keeping one's mind remembering that he will laugh with you. <laughs> he will understand the difficulty. But he will stay with you. It's always best to remember he will stay with you. So no matter what the temptations are, he will be standing there beside you. <laughs> just imagine that. <laughs> I will save many temptations. <laughs> Every time you say Jesus Christ, he's actually there. <laughs> it will be always. Oh, it will always be. And then sometimes laugh at ourselves. Because it means when we talk about liturgy, we say we're using liturgy, we're going to movements. But when we encounter Christ, we sometimes forget. He will laugh. He often will cry with you because he doesn't have a risk of a problem. But he also will be angry with you. I mean, not at you. He will be angry with. I mean, along with you. But my partner was a Express God. You, he, he would understand the human moment. And when, when Christ becomes humanized in a personal way that, like that, the pansingo mas madali siya makasama sa pagmamali. That's why I also wear my habit all the time. You see, it, it's, it's a great effort to one. But the encounter with Christ, I think that's the last thing I want to say. Because in all the healing, in all the healings of Jesus, in all the moments when He will challenge me, that's always the encounter. One person, not Jesus waiting na. He's always going to go there and meet you just the way you are. And then together, the smallest decisions, in the most ordinary moments, even in the most embarrassing moments, he will be there. And I hope that encourages us. That in general, the liturgies are moments where people who are tired from life will always come and find Jesus understanding. Sometimes that experience and encounter will be hidden. Pero kaya nga mahalin eh. Personally, tayo in communities like this, we have moments I'm in a place where Jesus is. This is not an ideal way for me to expose Jesus. Maybe that's part of the that's part of the of the appeal for today. Because even in such an ordinary way, Jesus Amen. 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 Glory to the Father and the Son. The Holy Spirit is also in the Son of the Lord. Amen.
Amen.